Hello. My name is Jim Olson. I'm a mathematics professor at Western Illinois University. And this is the first of five videos on how to make online quizzes with hot potatoes. First I'll tell you a little bit about why I like online quizzes and hot potatoes in general and then we'll get started with installing the software. The web page for Hot Potatoes is on the web page. It's made by Half-Baked Software. Some of the reasons that I like online quizzes are that they're available for students 24-7. The students can use them for practice and the students get immediate feedback as to whether they're right or wrong. Hot Potatoes is not freeware, but it is free of charge for those working for publicly funded nonprofit making educational institutions who make their pages available on the web. Other users must pay a license. Some of the things I like about Hot Potatoes, it is free for public institutions. It's easy to use but it does have many nice features. You can create a quiz file which is going to have a suffix of dot jqz which can be edited. You can also easily create web pages which will have a suffix of htm which can be viewed in the browser. It is possible to put graphics into quizzes and you don't have to have a bunch of advertisements all over the place. Hot Potatoes is made at the University of Victoria in Canada. It is software which you download and run on your computer therefore it is not necessary to be online in order to create the quizzes. Hot Potatoes does have a variety of different types of quizzes and crossword puzzles that you can create. I will focus on the J quiz and then the others are fairly easy to learn on your own. There are going to be five videos the first video I'm going to show you how to download, install, run, and register the software. We're going to download the software from the Hot Potatoes website. You can probably Google for Hot Potatoes and find this fairly easily. When you get to the Hot Potatoes website they have a lot of good information here. You can go to the downloads page and I am going to download the Hot Potato 6.2 installer for Windows and I usually like to save my downloads to my my downloads area so I'll do that now. Once the download is done you're going to want to install the program so I'm going to navigate over to my download area and I'm going to run the executable, the setup hot pot program. And this is a pretty typical installation. You're going to have to answer a few questions like what language you want to use and so on you'll have to accept the agreement and so on and go ahead and proceed as you normally would to install software. Now that we've installed the software we're ready to run the software so I'll go start programs and you should have hot potatoes 6 here you should be able to see Hot Potato 6 and run it here or the other option is on the desktop you'll probably have the Hot Potato 6 icon which shows a hand holding on to a baked potato and these are the various types of quizzes you can make I'm going to be demonstrating the J quiz so this is the J quiz interface and right up here is where we type the title of the quiz. Right up here is where we put the title of the quiz. I'm going to call this Mental Math Quiz Number One. 
And right here is my first question. And I'm going to make that 600 times 50 equals. And maybe I'll put a blank there. Right here is where we start putting in our answers. And I'm going to put 650, which is an incorrect answer. And I'm going to give a feedback on that as this is multiplication. And now I'm going to pause the video while I type in my other responses. Okay, I have most of the responses typed in. Uh, if you'd like to see more than multiple choice A through D, you can use these arrows and uh, see more choices. I do like to use none of the above. And I do like that to be a correct answer from time to time. The way you indicate the correct answer is by the checkbox over here. And um, in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to save this quiz file and make it a web page. But for right now, the last thing I'd like to show you is how to register the software. If you go under the help, To register this software, you're going to only have to go through the process once. First of all, you're going to need to get a registration key. To do that, you go to the Hot Potatoes software and go to register. Then you should read this information um, about applying for a registration key. Then click the link that says read the license terms. Then you should read this about who this is available to and then check I have read the license agreement and then a form pops up and this is where you type in your information I think for the email address it is a good idea to use um, an email address that ends in edu for example at Western Illinois universities ours is the name at wiu.edu that does verify that you are at an educational institution. Then hit Submit. When you've done this, you will receive an email in a few minutes that has the registration code or registration key. After retrieving that from your email, you'll go to JQuiz, and then you'll go under Help, and you should have a place there where you can register. Now, I have already done that, so that option does not appear any longer for me. This ends the first video in which we've learned how to download, install, run, and register the software.